Hello everyone, Tennessee Hoplite here. It's a wonderful spring morning here in Tennessee. You can hear the birds chirping away. Beautiful morning. Had a got a little pup tent set up for the kids to play any other day. Sleeping bags. It's spring, which means camping. And I'm always looking for fairly lightweight, compact sleeping systems. And I have a a couple of different sleeping bags. I have the military, uh, you know, sleep system, which is ridiculously heavy. I've got uh, one of the Recon bags, uh, Recon 5, I believe it is, or Recon 10, which is a great bag. But, you know, to be honest, it doesn't really live up to its rated level. Uh, I can find myself getting very chilly in the bag, despite all its synthetic prowess. So, let's ditch the synthetic and let's go back to some more natural stuff. And that brings me to this bag. This is a uh, Soviet bloc military sleeping bag. It is a surplus item. Right now it's a little moth -bally. I'm still airing them out before I can launder them. And we got our standard nylon covered bag. And the bag rolls up and stuffs into this pouch up here. But the cool thing about this pouch as well is you could very easily just you know, stick your clothes, your pants or whatever, you know, once you get ready for sleeping in the spring, you know, or whatever stuff you have, just roll it up, stuff it in there, and you have a nice little pillow. But also, the sleeping bag rolls into this top as well. So, basically, this is the, you know, integrated system for storing the bag. Very cool. Well, one of the things I think that really sets this bag aside, and a problem I have with most modern sleeping bags, is the ability to launder the bag. Um... I do not like not being able to launder a sleeping bag. So this bag is very different in that this is a shell and inside we have a linen layer. This feels like it's just cotton. A nice cotton linen bag and it all buttons together at intervals. And then also we have a wool blend blanket. This may actually be wool, but it feels like it's probably a wool blend. So. Um, we have this and this, and we have components that can be separated from the bag via buttons and laundered. And you know what? If you want to be crafty, there's no reason you couldn't grab one of those surplus 100% wool Italian military blankets or some of the Russian gray surplus blankets that are out there for 12 and 15 bucks out there and sew some buttons on it and make that into a liner as well and have another layer to stack into this thing and make this into a total winter setup as well. I think this will actually be perfect for a real cool dipping down into the 40s spring night uh, scenario. Uh, we wanted to try those on our camping trip this weekend, but because of the mothball, probably not going to be able to. I just got these in. So uh, I got some airing out to do. Once uh, these guys are all aired out and laundered, then, you know, I'm going to spend a night in the backyard with my daughter. We'll have a little backyard camp out, and we'll see test these guys out and see how they do. I'll update my video or maybe make a new one at that point and I'll also add the weight and things of that nature to the video because right now they're airing out and uh, I haven't had time to weigh them yet so but anyway these are the bags very inexpensive can be had for under $20 on most websites I've seen some sites as cheap as $15 I got these for like 12 on eBay um, very pleased with them these look brand new like they were never issued uh, and I'm pretty stoked about them. This uh, is just so many possibilities and re because of this button-in system as far as what I can do with these bags. But I love this linen sheet here. There's so many nights in the summer that, you know, we just sleep with just the sheets and stuff and fans because, you know, like right now, it's barely dipping to the 80s and during the day, so the house warms up. But it's not really warm enough to run the air conditioners, and it takes a while in the evenings for the house to cool down. So you lighten up on the covers. This is just cool. I'm so excited about this. But anyway, um, Tennessee Hoplite, just want to give you a little review of these bags. Really show them to you because on the internet, I'm not seeing a lot about, about these bags. No one's really, I found like one or two little videos. But really, we just wanted to show you these bags because they're starting to go away. I remember Sportsman's Guide a while back had them on there. They had them at a ridiculously cheap price. It was like three bags for like 30 bucks or something like that. And then they emailed me and said, no, we got that wrong. It's a three-piece bag. One, two, three for 30 bucks or whatever the cost was and we're not going to ship those to you and they do that from time to time and 
for all the screw ups the sportsman's got, they do a lot of cool stuff, so I'll let them slide. But um, I got these at uh, a Swiss store, I can't remember what it's called, Swiss Links or something of that nature, and you can look them up. But anyway, I believe these are Czechoslovakian. I may be wrong, but uh, I'll put that in the notes in the video. Have a good day. Tennessee Hoplite, and man, it's gorgeous. I'm out.